Shelly and I are on vacation, but we will be home tomorrow. But because of what's going on in the world, I felt like I needed to talk to you for a couple of minutes today. You see, it's at moments like this, when the world needs to see the difference that Christ makes in our lives, when the world is going through the valley of the shadows of trouble. According to David, when he wrote Psalm 23, the Lord is our shepherd, I shall not want. And at verse four he says, we walk through the valleys of the shadow of death. One translation says, the valley of the shadows of trouble. I will fear no evil. I want you to understand, those are definitive statements that David makes. Those are not indecisive questions. If the Lord is our shepherd, I will be made to lie down in green pastures. If the Lord is my shepherd, I will find rest. If the Lord is my shepherd, I will not be afraid. You see, it's this relationship with Christ that makes all the difference in the world. It's at moments like this that our faith will deepen or our fears will mount. And remember, faith is a gift from God that he gives to us very freely. But fear is a tool of the devil and he wields it fiercely. I was reminded this week that we have brothers and sisters in other countries that we will probably never meet this side of heaven, who every single week, week they have a faith pandemic. In other words, if they gather together as a church, they run a risk of arrest, imprisonment, and even death. They don't practice social distancing in the midst of that faith pandemic. We need to be very careful about not distancing ourselves from each other. Faith can be risky business. So here at New Hope, we're not going to forsake the assemblies of ourselves together. Oh yes, we will be cautious, we won't be presumptuous. We will do normal practices that we ought to use all the time anyway. Proper hygiene. If you're sick, please stay home. If you're in one of those categories that are high risk, please stay home. If your immune system is down, take all the extra precautions. Yesterday here at New Hope on our work day, we had people putting up hand cleaning stations before you go into any building to make that more accessible for you right now. They've sterilized all the surfaces and all the door handles so it will be as safe as we possibly can make it. Practices you should be doing at home as well. We're going to do best practices, but we're going to do what's reasonable, not what is fearful. We're also going to be investigating over the next several days what other things we as a church family need to do to make it best for each of you. If you are elderly or if you live alone or if you don't have family close by and you need a call every couple of days from somebody here at New Hope to see how you're doing, if you get sick and don't have anybody to reach out to, please call the church office. Call my own personal number. If you don't have it already, you can call the office and get it or I'm gonna give it to you right now. It's 559-281-0175. If you have an emergency, don't hesitate to use that number. We're also investigating how to expand our online worship services. And we're also going to be talking to families who may be challenged because school has been discontinued for a few weeks. And if that's going to create a hardship on, on working parents, then we're going to see what we can do to maybe help out in the meantime. So please, be mindful, be prayerful, but remember, we have no reason to fear what this world can do to us when we know that the Lord is our shepherd. God bless you. Have a great worship day. Mark's got a wonderful sermon ready for you.